another way to automate your process in ArcMap or an EGIS really is by using a model builder where you create a model that uh, serves as the execution of the various steps that you're following. In ArcMap, the model will have to sit in a toolbox. So it has to be in my toolboxes, for example, you'd have to save it there. How do you create a model? Well, you simply call it up from the model builder and in this you can actually set any kind of environmental settings you can do any kind of geospatial analysis entirely up to you so how does it work well model properties and the model tell you more or less what the parameters are what your environments are for example what your geodatabase is you just click on something and these um, are automatically enforced throughout the model. You can also have iterations, so this would be your loops, and the num model a number of times, or until the count from this variable reaches a certain count. This would be, for example, a while loop um, until a count is reached, and or run the model until a variable is false. This would be a Boolean model. So you can also include that in your models. But how does it work? For example, if I would like to do a batch project, for example, I just click on it and pull it in. And then I can assign the various um, layers to this particular um, tool. So let's say I want to actually batch project the, the various um, files that I have in my table of content here. So I've got, for that example, I've got um, geology, farm, outlines, roads, and land use. And I want to project this into a specific um, coordinate system. So first of all, I would designate the actual area where I'm going to write to. And then also I say which kind of projectors coordinate system I would like to use. In this example, we'll just use uh, 34 South. Be fine. And if you want to see how it looks, you just use auto layout and make sure you can use everything. So this will basically batch project um, all your files into this output that you have selected. Now, let's say you want to use those files um, for input into other models. So you would just simply go back to your toolboxes and you would select the model that you want. For example, perhaps I want an intersection or union. I would then say, fine, I want an intersection. And I wanted to have some of these um, projected layers as part of it. And that would be the model. And as you do that, you can link these models further. For example, if you have a uh, an intersection you can then link another model or another process as part of that you can um, select certain items as an input as an input feature for example now this model will have three inputs for the intersect you can also run the model um, how you do that you just simply run it here or you can validate the model as well. Validation just simply checks if everything will run successfully. And if you run it, it works like any other tool in your normal map view, um, GIS view, and it will run and uh, will inform you whether or not it has been successful. So if you want to add something to the display, you want to see if this if it worked, you simply right click and say add to display and it will um, add to the display in your map. One of the advantages of the model is that you can export to various formats. You can export to a graphic, that's just a picture, or you can export to a Python script. So let's say now you want to run this model somewhere else as a Python script. You simply just export it. And if you want to know how, what it looks like, here it is. You can see the code by saying right-click edit IDLE. And here is the input to your model. It looks slightly different to the Python window, but it actually uses the ArcPy library as well, so it uses the same amount of information. If you want to export to a graphic, again, you can save it as various in various formats. For example, you can save it as a 
a PDF or let's save it as a, a PNG in this case. And uh, you can open it up and it'll show you what the model it looks like. If you find after you've done that that perhaps you should rename certain items in the model, that can be done as well. So if you right click an item, for example, you can rename it. So you can just name it to intersect one in this instance. You can also resize if you want to. You can also change how it's drawn. So that's part of your drawing diagram properties. For example, you can top to bottom and you can use a different type of, it, um, of symbology. And here you can see that now it's drawing top, top to bottom and there are the different styles that you have. And this is a very short, brief overview of how you create a model in our